and they parted his remnant and cast lots. The assignment I chose today is entitled, When All Else Fails, Pray. All right. I would like to start off by focusing on the phrase, Father, forgive them. Let's start off by defining the word forgive briefly. The root word of forgiveness. To forgive means to pardon an offense or an offender and to cease to feel resentment against another. Come on, church. Forgive. To bear no malice or to release someone from their debt. These are definitions from the dictionary. From the spiritual perspective, the act of excusing or pardoning another in spite of his slights, his shortcomings, yes. her shortcomings, and their errors. Yeah. As a theological term, forgiveness refers to God's pardon of sins of human beings. No religious book except the Bible mm. teaches that God completely forgives our sins. Mm. Here are a few scriptures that relate to complete forgiveness. We don't have enough time to go over them, but Psalm 51, Isaiah 38, 17, Hebrews 10, 17. Psalm 51, verse 1 through 3 from the Message Bible says, Generous in love, God give grace. Huge in mercy, wipe out my bad record. Jesus. Scrub away my guilt, soak out my sins in your laundry. Mm. I know how bad mm. I've been. Yes. My sins mm. are staring me down. Mm. Oh, Woo. My, 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 my. Oh, my. In Jesus. Hebrews 10, 17, and iniquities will I remember no, no more. more. Mm -hmm. Well, we pretty much have a view of what the meaning of forgiveness is. And now let's relate it to Jesus. I believe that this is Jesus' public ministry opening with a prayer. Surely he has left us an example that we should do as he has done. It makes sense that the first word of Jesus from the cross is the word of forgiveness. Yes. yes. He has, this is the point, after all, he's dying so that we might be forgiven, mm. so that we might be reconciled to God for eternity. Vision our Lord is upon the cross, and there he hangs silently. Then his pain-lined lips are seen moving. Is he crying out in pain? No. Mm. Is he asking for pity? No. Is he pronouncing a curse upon those who crucified him? No. What then? He's praying for his enemies. Father, Jesus. forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Mm. Our Lord is upon the cross. No longer can his hands minister to the sick, for they are nailed to the tree. Jesus. No longer can his feet carry him on errands of mercy, for they are fastened to the wood. No longer can he instruct his disciples, for they have forsaken him and fled. But one thing he can do, he can pray. Yes. Prayer is one of the most effective weapons that the body of Christ, Christ can use along with forgiveness. Perhaps you are here this evening and you think you have nothing to offer, no purpose in living, but like the Lord, there is one thing you can still do, even in the last hours of life, Jesus. and that is in to engage in the ministry of prayer. Maybe there's somebody, something, something's happened to you that you just can't get over. You can't get better until you forgive. You've got to pardon. You've got to let it go. You can't let it hold you down anymore. You can't let it bond you in bondage. Perhaps God may use your ministry of prayer to accomplish more for his church and kingdom than was accomplished by all your past service. Our Lord is upon the cross. He first prays for his enemies. Then he forgives his enemies. He prays for his murderers. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Pray for your murderers. Jesus. In doing this, he shows up. He teaches us 
that no one is ever beyond the reach of prayer right. or forgiveness. Hmm. No one. He shows us, he teaches us to never give up, to never abandon hope, to keep on praying. Does it seem to you a waste of time to keep praying for that man, that woman, that wayward child, the grandchild? Hmm. Does it seem to you as if they are beyond the reach of God's mercy? Wow. Does their case Jesus. seem to get more and more hopeless every oh, passing day? Hmm. In such times of discouragement, think of the cross. Remember that Christ prayed for his enemies, yes, for did. those who made him suffer the agony and torment of the cross. We have always remember what Jesus instructed us to do, yes. according to Matthew 5, 44, and that is to love your enemies, yes. bless them that curse you, hmm. do good to them that hate you, hmm. and pray for them which despitefully use you. I tell you, church, it's not easy. And as God would have it, this assignment was given to me when I was in the midst of a struggle of trying hmm. to think about whether I would forgive someone. Jesus. Hmm. And God put it right in front of me and said, forgive them. Yes. For they don't know what they are doing. Hallelujah. Ha. 